Ay, ay, ay. gonna work on this until I pass out because I'm a uh, I want to get a little bit more done with it but there's still a lot that can be done hello from Hawaii Jeez, I haven't been to Hawaii in a hot second hot damn question of how many of these do I want to fucking make. Let's go with uh, seven. And then three random squatter kits I think would be good. Ah, oh, man. So much kit design. Why do I do this to myself? But this is literally going to be an interesting attempt here. Hughes, I'd love to go to bed. So here's the deal. Blood Wayne wanted to go uh, get Korean barbecue. Uh, originally, we were going to go to Texas Day Brazil, but it's closed on Mondays. But we, uh, we went to Korean barbecue, and she asked me beforehand, hey, can I get, like, shit face drunk? And I'm like, okay. Because um, she always talks about how she wants me to drive her around when she gets shit face drunk because I don't drive. I don't own a car. I only have a learner's permit. So, um, oh, speaking of, I got to also sign up for my driving classes. But we go there. She has, like, a single bottle of flavored soju, like the equivalent of I have half a bottle. It hits me a little bit, but not too much. Um... We take, out of the two bottles, we take the, um, like, two-thirds of the second one home. Um, she's barely drunk. Uh, I chug the rest of the bottle when we get back, but she also wanted to get coffee. And I'm like, uh, fine. So I got a latte, she got an iced coffee. Um, I end up chugging the rest of the bottle of the two-thirds soju. When we got back, we watched, like, three episodes of Star Trek Next Generation. Um but I'm still wide awake. I'm gonna be awake for like another two or three hours because I rarely drink coffee. But when I do, it's usually when I need to get some shit done. But now I'm gonna be awake for like three hours. So I might as well work on my DND project. And this is gonna be a really cool idea because if I get this to work after it's done, I'm gonna take this to the 700th for a few people and I'm gonna run a 40K version of this. And then after that's finished, I'm gonna run a TSB equivalent, uh, probably in the Fallout universe and then maybe a Star Wars one. But the issue is these take for fucking ever to make. Like, you don't understand. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> I've got the plot line finished for this campaign, but um, the 506 wants me to make this a weekly thing now because Cherry, the other Zeus, wants to take a break because he's um, demotivated because people don't want to come to like sci-fi stuff and like all the fancy shit he makes, which is just an issue of the unit itself. A lot of people in the 506, um, they don't come if there's any fancy mods. I'm gonna use that to my advantage because I don't want a lot of people to come to this. I want this to be like a fucking open world DND bullshit thing. So. Yeah. 
And the reason I want to do it is because no one does that in Arma. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm going to fucking do it. I'm Lira the motherfucking Lance Corporal. I can do whatever I want. Now. 20 months? Holy shit. Yeah, I know, right? Good censorship there, Broadshore. Thanks for the uh, 20 month reset. And I say that so it doesn't get a void, um, fucking, whatchamacallit, um, censored by the damn bot. But thank you so much, my man. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. So Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. But really, I just want to create shit. And I'm getting a little bored of regular Arma, so that's why we're here. But, you know, at the same time, I'm trying to think what else. Do I want to give him that hat? No, I want it to be empty, because that's uh, something different entirely. But it's funny because I am, um, I think six or eight months down the road, someone's going to ask me for like a, a quote on how to commission something like this. And it's going to be way too fucking expensive for them. Unless they're old stone levels of wealthy. Because this shit, I'm going to be honest with you, has already taken about 12 hours. Um, no, about 15 actually. I wrote a full fucking 10 mission plot, which can expand to up Send to 35 to missions, six. depending on if they want to do every little side quest along Love the way. Seeing the content, you may keep it up looking to join the community soon. Thanks, Hiroko-san. Hope I pronounced that right. Thanks for the four month resub. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you got a nice kick out of this uh, little bitchy dev stream tonight. <laughs> but I, I know for a fact that I'm going to get a few diehard lovers of this campaign in the 506. I'm going to literally just keep this running until they're satisfied with it. And then I'm going to probably take a break from the 506 for maybe like two weeks. Just so I can think of or just do like a fucking realism five mission little spec ops thing. Because that would probably be fun. Now, this isn't going to be a 35 mission thing. Um... I would assume it's going to be like 20 max, but again, it depends on how quickly they do side quests and how long they want to stay up Wednesday night, because I can go as long as they fucking want. I'm a DM. I don't give a shit. This is my job. This is my life, and I would love to just keep on going. I need a lot of coffee, though. But no, I've I've been thinking about doing like DND style campaigns in Arma for a very long time now. So this is gonna be the test run. So it's a little exciting. <sighs> is there anything else I wanna like give um Let's change out his clothing, actually. I swear that peep like looked like a scope from another angle. Yeah, this is just a homebrew style post apocalyptic thing. Where I hand make everything like an idiot.
One, two, three, four. Yeah. Still need two or three more. Ah, uh, it's good, Yasuhiro. I'm gonna spend tomorrow re or trying to unfuck my audio setup. <laughs> no promises, though. It's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goat Team Six now. Guardsman, thanks for the 11-month resub, my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I'm get a nice kick out of this little build scenario. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that'll work. I just realized that's what that clipping is. You have a fucking headwear on. Poor flat chested chick. Or that's just a guy with really long hair. The point is, I don't fucking know, and I'm too scared to ask. Realize the nine millimeter submachine gun is a grease gun. Why have I never noticed that? God, I'm slow. Oh, let me guess you have the fucking you have that chambered in the vanilla mag, do you? Yep, let's change up the JHP. set these dudes up rifle rifle with a scope so you should be up here shotgun shotgun you have a BB gun so you're kind of useless shotgun should be here Just fuck up my head cannon. Yeah, I just fucked up my head cannon. Okay, well, that's okay. It's because I'm tired and I forgot because I haven't touched this in a while because I've been so busy with other projects. Uh, let's see. Realistically, you should be able to fix it by just dragging an op four unit on these guys, which we have a naked one over there for the sake of convenience. No, he's the debug unit. Everything here has to be up for, and the reason why is because the Fallout mutants are set to blue four, and I can't have the player base be blue four because then the mutants won't attack them. 
So op four is gonna be blue four, and blue four is gonna be op four. It's tough to remember to balance that shit. Now I'm gonna want. <clears throat> Two or three of these guys with nothing but... A few caps on them. put everything in backpacks so I can pre-place. Now, I can always recycle these units, too, so it's not the end of the world. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? And then this one. Wait, is that in seconds? That's all I need for that. Now I need... Something down here. Where would be a good position for this guy? Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna have to do that for all the units. <laughs> Did I pass out? No. 
Sorry, I just got completely caught up in thought. Ooh. Yeah, the mod totally updated. No new mutants, though. Here, let me, um... I'm gonna quickly tab out and go into Discord real quick. Alright, that's all frickin... Porn. Okay, that's that's not... That's not Twitch appropriate at all. Where the fuck is the Aftermath Discord? Nope, oh, that's more porn. Why is there so much? Can't even find the Aftermath Discord. There it is. It's the lightning bolt. Where is the change log? Do they even have a tab frickin' tab for the change log in here? Uh, fuck it. Aftermath Arma 3 Steam Workshop. They always have change logs in the fucking thingamajig. Change notes. It's updated back in May. No, so these have already been, always been in here. All right, cute. Well, oh well for that. Because <sighs> I could have, I did not find these, which is why I added a gore mod, but oh well. I don't really have a good place to put that in all honesty. Great cons totems for my uh, Skinner's faction, which is like default raider faction. And then let's play four corners. Anything at, why is it all under cemetery? That's funny. Maybe that's why I didn't find it originally. Oh yeah, right. I can uh, just shove them in here. Perfect. Yeah, insomnia is a bitch. Or er, insomnia, excuse me. Yeah, all right. Let's get the Skinners. So I have made a good chunk of these kits. Uh, there's two I want to ungroup that I'll run as a patrol, but the rest of you, uh, standing, pathing disabled. Jerry, I'll set to invincible at the start of this, but I also need to check out and make sure. Okay, no, you have a shotgun. Yeah, so spawn is behind this hill, so that's great. I'm literally going to say, all right, you're going to start by going down this road. Here's a little bit of background. That's all I'm giving you. Have fun. Don't die. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't want any ghouls because the ghouls are supposed to be something else. 
and it totally didn't copy over the faces. Oh my god, it's all sorts of fucked. The black guys are white guys, the white guys, eh, whatever. Damn custom face bullshit. It's just not good for their health. Fuck, so I'm gonna have to do this step for every time I fucking grab someone fucking kid. God fucking damn it. Why? Why is this so painful? Colorblind? Yeah, alright, good enough. It's okay, I'm learning all these painful things first. Alright. Lever action will be... Right there. I think that's a hunting shotgun. With a scorpion. Nah, fam, I'm gonna put him right there. Shotgun sniping, yeah, right? Oh, they're going to be randomized when I spawn them in Zeus, too, unfortunately, unless I do a hard copy, which I will have no choice but to do, but still. The whole point of this, though, is I don't want to really touch it from the Zeus interface. I want to... Just work on it when I can, you know? Did it really just reset? That's funny. Alright, what do I still have left for this mission? I want to build some more. Yeah, we got another Skinner base up here. That one's not too hard. And we got another Skinner base over here. God, I am going to hate myself. Okay. I just realized that you also all don't have your things properly set. So let me go back here and make sure that that's set. It is cool. All right. All 
right. Every painstaking detail. I just keep copying and pasting until I get the right one, you know? That's just probability at that point, though. Yeah, so I think I'll do it the same way as I've done um, the Fallout one, where I will literally just build and cycle new kits as we... Uh, get things done and then I still need to add a radiation script Ugh. it's gonna be a lot of walking time in this campaign though that's my one concern about it but I do not want to add vehicles Plus, it gives me time to do exposition and whatnot. Sounds like I got you, Scam. Right. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Nope. Oh, first try, even though I think that's the old man. No, it's not. Okay, I just looked weird in the shadow. First try again. Almost hit the delete key. is kind of dark. And then I don't see any ghouls. Drum's gonna hate me for this, though. Like, the texture and whatnot. Which I find hilarious. I'll be right back one second.
Nope, shit, sorry. Didn't mean to boop that. I've also been thinking, how do I make this post-apocalyptic-y? And in my head, I was ready to tackle that challenge. But with all the work I've already put in it, I've decided I don't give a fuck. It's the apocalypse. This area wasn't really nuked to high hell, but if I have, like, bombs nearby... Like, I don't need it to look too, too dilapidated, because I'm saying this is, like, right... Like, this is within months of the bombs falling. So, unless I want to really get into some of, like, the nuke play and shit... Which, I've already put in lore for where that's going to be. Then we'll be okay. So that means I do have to work on like some of the Forsaken areas, but... It's okay, I can work on them after I finish all the Skinner positions. My one fear with this campaign, though, is become AI, or excuse me, lambs. But I can just have it all disabled on these units, so it won't matter too much. It is still a genuine concern, but it's fine. I think that's a single shotgun, so that works. Yeah, good luck with that. You know what would have been the cherry on top, though? What I'm probably going to do the next time I do a hardcore Fallout campaign is have a fucking Ravage drop table system. But at that point... <laughs> eh. That's all I really have to say about that is... Eh. No, don't give me that crap. Come on. I saw it earlier. Can't lie to me. Oh, it's radioactive. Yeah. I always get barrel wrong. I just, I want to make more kits. It's, it's just not enough for me. I'm a little kit whore and I want more. Oh my God, what was your previous gun? Cause this is going to drive me bananas. I'm just literally, I'm not even going to redo the entire thing. They already have a good enough amount of stuff. I am just cutting a few corners, don't mind me.
Watch that double barrel. Wow, he is not going to get a lot of ammo with that. I don't think that's my problem, though, but... <laughs> Ten round mags. I don't mean to sound racist, but the less African-American kits I can make because I'm going to have to freaking redo all the faces every time I spawn them, the better. Because that's going to drive me bananas. <laughs> Pipe rifle! Fuck. Because I'm not going to go dig through the freaking ammo type. Fuck that. Cool. This is just... Ugh. Like, I'm putting radiation patches in here. It's too much shit. Okay, you know what? How about this? We just make a big group of them, and then whatever doesn't work, I just delete for the fun. For the hell of it. <laughs> Perfect! This is what this is. That's actually a really nice way to randomize it. We just delete all the uniforms that are busted. And we go from there, you know? I like it. Keeps it fresh, keeps it interesting, keeps it neat. Uh, standing path. Oh, I should probably go do all, like, the small detail on the Skinner's positions, too. That would probably be smart, right? Hmm. Liru. Liru, Liru, Liru. See, I'm still debating the radiation part, though, because there's no way I have to really, like, punish anything, which is annoying. Because there's not really an in-way system without having to add Ravage, so I'm thinking, you know what, I might just skip it. Some other genius did something in the world, and now there's no radiation, which would actually tie in really well with how this thing's gonna end. I could turn that into an underlying theme, too. Which means I'll need to have either some extra patrols in here, or maybe something worse, which I could totally do. Hmm. Yeah. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Cemetery. Sorry if I sound like I'm losing my fucking mind, by the way. I do apologize for that. Head on a pike. Head on a spike, head on a pike, head on a trident. I'm losing my sanity. I just want to make some realistic bullshit. Hey, can I just like put you up here? 
He's a scarecrow. Have some tents set up and shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm down for that. You know what I could also use? Um, I know we have them. We have to have them. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. There's a lot of things I'm cross. Fuck. All right. Um, would it be Crux? Cruxifix? Ha. Ha. Yes. Yes. Stockyard. Oh, it's that giant Tanoa thing. <laughs> I can put Blake down. That's actually kind of nice. Like, for NPCs, I could, um... If I would get really fucking lazy, I might experiment with that. Securitron! That's nice. Oh, boomer. Gotcha. Deathclaw, eh? <laughs> you know I'd really like that. Where's the fucking cemetery? Cemetery, was it over the... There it is. Keep on biking. The more heads they have, the better. Radiation made the pig square. Yep. We'll never know. be metal if I took the rib cages of the Brahma and just made it like a barbed wire fence perimeter wall. That would take an ungodly amount of time. 
but that would be pretty fucking metal. I think that would be work better as a tribal thing. Tribals I don't have to worry about for a while, though. That's way later in the campaign. One thing I do want to look at, though, is the arsenal. Um, that's not the arsenal, Liru. Yeah. Remember that anything I put in here is something they'll be able to constantly get back. So actually, let me take that away. The start and the start is good. <clears throat> the start is good. Let's make some fucking horn heads. Fucking easy kit. Uh, we just need to go to men. All right, so that is a base kit. Really just any, any gun is going to be fine, but I will give them some step up shit. a feature. So I can do a banking system. Yeah, that'd be cool.
Yes, you can have Joshua Garment stuff from the arsenal. Little OP for my taste. Let me guess, the only thing I have in here is 30 rounds for this mod. No, I got 20s too. So an hour has, well, no, more than, no, about an hour has passed based off of that. Since this thing goes around 30, what, well, why am I saying that? I can literally just check the time. Yeah, recording, 59.30, so yeah. Why am I still awake just to suffer? Pretty much. I'm just having fun. That's enough kits. No, I need a lot more. I need like five or six more. Twenty round FAL, baby, let's go.
You know, if I just wrote an algorithm and then made like a random drop pool, nah, that would also take a similar amount of time. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. Things I do for love. What the fuck is wrong with your face? Fuck it, Remington. It's a lot of it's a lot of DACA right there, sir. Not sure if I'll be able to keep that on my pants. Gets a dwug. Yeah, maybe I just do it to suffer. Yes, who? Yes, a hero. Who knows? Oh, they're all thirty round mags. <laughs> only chambered in two twice. <laughs> Let's go. Oh God. What what is up with their faces? Sir. Anything that close to the helmet, I'm deleting. I don't mind the tribal heads here. Uh, helmets are great cons, but for the sake of this campaign, they're called horn heads. Get it? Okay, that's. 
that's that position taken care of. Do I want to do... I was thinking... Save that for tribals. Might as well build the player kits. <laughs> just just full on Joshua Garm this bitch. Kinda like that. Cause there's a yeah, there's actually something I can do at the end. Do we have a game master slot down yet? No, I do not. Just checking a few things real quick. Good. looking so far. Wow. 
Spell check time. Perfect. One last check. Good. Attributes, multiplayer, no, add ons, add on options. Where is it? No. I need to make sure that's also, that is off. Yes, this is something I need to put on in the Fallout campaign. So I just want this area to be done. And then I can expand up to this. Like, so this is phase one. This is all of phase two. And then we have phase three, phase four, phase five, and phase six. And then there's still a few other things I have to build by then. We're going to be like, oh, fuck me. I forgot the scripts. So far into this thing. Maybe every three weeks we'll play a realism mob just to take a break. What is this called? New Horizons? Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a second secondary mission file. here for all of those which is great but yeah there I am not giving them a lot of choice here for weaponry still be there. Cool. Yeah, no maps, because they are not gonna fucking... Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, they don't know what the we? fuck this is. Faces are all good. No voices. Fine. Hell yeah, all right, then my garrisons break. Nope, that looks good. That broke. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Cool, boys. Oh, 
motherfuckers. So what's what's wrong with you there? Not set you to stand? I set you to stand. I just didn't set you to path. Now, hypothetically, I want to test something real quick, just to make sure this feature is working. dies. Well, that's a debug. Okay, that's that's fair. I'm gonna have to space those all out or set them all to care spin again because they're running this version. Then that means that's gonna be quite difficult. Yeah, so we copies with enabled damage, but. They can still be shot. If they. Shoot him? No? Yeah. I can manually do it then. There's a. Okay, well. It's gonna be annoying. So what? What would I do to call this complete? I'm curious what it'll do dynamically. Okay, you know what? I don't really need that at 2 a.m. Yeah, he just walks around. That's fine. You just spawn them when they're ready. So what, probably make like 20 more Skinner kits? I don't know. I mean, for the most part though, considering everything I'm cutting out, this is mostly ready, which is great. But what'll this last me? Like a week's worth of play. And then week two, we'll have to have all that garrison and that garrison. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a gigantic pain in my fucking ass. All right. It's okay. A lot of walking. But we can have them encounter a bunch of crazy random bullshit along the way. It'll have to all be planned, though. But they're gonna take, like, fucking 30 minutes to play Barbie, so I can set up some stuff there anyhow. Oh, it's Fudgehead McGee working here. Perfect. Let me 
mean, this will be a bit of a tutorial mission as well. Yeah. I'm happy with it. One thing I do want to set up, though. Um... Yeah, the Skinners are going to literally be, like, shooting on... Wait, so why did they go hostile? Blue 4 and green 4, because they're red 4. It's these guys that got shot to shit, that's why. Because I have them as a debug. So, op 4 and green 4. I mean, I guess for the sake of lore and shit. Nah. Blue 4 is going to be hostile to everything. But yeah, green 4 and... Op 4 friendly. Because those represent the neutral factions that can be engaged. Cool. Alright, so let me explain how the first mission's gonna go. Uh, I'm literally gonna send them down this road. They're gonna kill everyone here. This guy's gonna be invincible. His name is Jerry. Jerry is handcuffed. They're gonna unhandcuff him, and he's gonna go ask him a few questions, and then start walking them to new whatever the fuck this town is over here. Sorry for flashing you. New Neo Cookley. I'm not gonna get the map though. Um, we're gonna probably have a random encounter here. Come up to this spot. He's gonna go, oh, wait, shit, this is a hornhead place. We don't wanna be there. So we're just gonna go around, like, over here. And then maybe when we get to the edge of the tree line, I'm gonna go, okay, wait, shit, there's, uh, bad stuff, forsaken, blah, blah, blah. Meet him in the town, talk with the mayor. Mayor's gonna send them over to the shop. Because there's a lot of people that are in this town, but there's um, two big caravans going out to other towns, and they're kind of a far town. Uh, this guy's going to send them over, and they're going to clear out the two Forsaken positions, and then side quest also kill a Skinner encampment. Otherwise, he's going to have another quest. He's going to send them down over to this Skinner position. Uh, come back, and that's getting into the second major mission. Or I could change it up. I'll, I'll literally be changing it week after week just to balance however the fuck these people have it set. But yeah, that's that's gonna be good enough so far, and then I might blow up some buildings along the way. I haven't decided it yet. Ugh, it's 2:20. They're going to wrap it up here. So we'll be back tomorrow. I think I uh, it's the week where I Zeus Tuesdays for House Aiden. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for that mission file, but otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Go operate operationally. I appreciate you guys uh, spending tonight with me. Otherwise, cheers. Have a good one.